Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Dead Cells. This is going to be one of those runs where I think we're going to be fine. And then we are fine, but it's 20 to 11 at night, so I'm going to be complaining before too long that I shouldn't have started the run because it's too late at night and I want to stop. I have this. Nice. That's a good one. This always absorb damage, and then if you parry, it's even better. I think that might be the case. Sorry, it always absorbs damage, but if it's if you parry, it absorbs all the damage. I don't know. I think I'm still going to go with brutality because I still don't really like or trust shields. Um, and I really enjoy the backstabby weapon. So whenever we get an opportunity to use it, kind of going to take it, you know. Which means I want to make that better and not everything else worse. Thank you. But we can play a little bit slower. We don't have to get the time door. No. We probably could, but then we wouldn't get the enemy's door. We've got 10 so far. Nice. <laughs> I mean, okay, I do understand the value and quality of certain shields. But let's let's just keep it. Uh a melee weapon and a shield is seems very traditional to me, so you know, it's how wars were fought for the longest time in human history, so now is it's really the time to put it to the test. I, I was saying we need to be a little bit more um cautious. You know how the word um nauseous is correct usually Nauseous is. This the word. Oh, I don't want that. Uh, and then there's the word nauseated, which is the feeling you have when you've eaten something that is nauseous. It's a little bit like the word. Um, the word poisonous versus the word venomous, right? The poisonous is the nature of a food that, or something that you eat, and that is poisonous. And ven. Oh. I don't know. Uh, no. Just this once, we're going to try making shields work. We're at 22 hits. Nice. Look at that blood aura that you get when all that stuff happens around as well. Frankly, quiet. Bollocks! <laughs> Alright, now I'm bad at this. I hate you, game. No, that's not our new attitude. Our new attitude is my mistake. How do we fix it? How do we fix it? We get better at bloody well parrying, right? I, yeah. The whole problem right here, right now, is that um, parrying is hard. It's the timing on it. I don't have the timing down, and that's fine, because I don't practice with them. Why don't I practice with them? Because I hate them. Why do I hate them? Because it's hard. This is circular reasoning, but it's the way it goes. You know, I, I dislike these sufficiently that I'm actually going to just sell it, even though I have space for it. Um, circular reasoning, for sure. But, what are you going to do, right? I have to do some runs with a shield in order to learn the shield, and whilst learning the shield, I'm going to get the shield wrong. It's as simple as that. Um, thank you. But, the more we play with it, especially on a run like this, where essentially I feel like I don't really need a secondary weapon at all. I mean, I sold the, um, the infantry bow, which would have been an amazing secondary bow, a sec well, secondary weapon, secondary bow, for this, because if I'm not behind an enemy, I can still crit him. I mean, it, I, I've got a f uh, there's five um, five shots before it's a problem, but I can crit him. Put some into this because it's not going to happen yet. So, let's not worry about the fact that we're bad at the game <laughs> uh, and start trying to learn how to use parries properly and this is the way to do it you kit yourself up so that parrying is incentivized and you pay attention to what's happening you probably don't go to the toxic sewers and if you do go to the toxic sewers and you probably don't go to the ancient sewers afterwards so let's try and not go into the ancient sewers because we're on a experimental run a long time ago i said no more of that you know but we've turned around again it's a new new me it's a new year we're being more patient with the game and more patient with ourselves. 
So we need to remember the fact that we are terrible at this game. And factor that in when you play it. That was, uh, could have been better, <laughs> honestly. I believe that we're blocked attacks, inflict bleeding, effect extended to nearby enemies. Yeah, so that big cloud of blood is basically all the enemies being affected by the, the area of effect of our bleeding response to a parry, which is great, actually. I, I really like that. Does that count as a successful parry? Because it certainly went back and hit the enemy. I don't think it did. It said parry, and there was an exclamation mark, which leaves me, makes me very confident that it was successful, because you know, exclamation marks, they're like that, you know? They, they give you that extra bit of bonus. So we don't have to keep charging around and stomping the ground, trying to get down quickly, and, and all this blah blah and nonsense. Nice. We can just chill out and be careful. Yikes. I knew he was there because it was close enough that the uh, thing was shooting it, but I, I didn't put two and two together. Also, I went really quiet for a long time because I was trying to figure out how to play the game. That was an excellent parry because they both showed up at the same time. I I know that I often complain that the game manages to sort of lock me into a corner by having two things attack me at such a, a pace that I can't dodge them both. Obviously, shouldn't be in that situation. Don't just, just jump, move, go somewhere else. That's okay. You're allowed to do that. I tried to press the button, but I was... I don't know. No, let's keep trying this thing. We need, we need to get better at shields, because shields are a great way of getting through the game. And I've just been languishing. Not even provocatively, I've just been doing it. I just stopped jumping down like that. We've already mentioned that in this very episode. You don't need to rush around trying to kill everything in sight as fast as you possibly can. You know? Nice. Just use the use your skills to your advantage. You know, not necessarily your you know, human skills, not not the player skills, but the 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 aptitudes that your character has. Use them to your advantage. We do have a um, survival-based mutation now, so we should probably make use of it as much as we can. Uh, we can basically play a slower game. We don't need to play the young man's fast game that we, we were playing before. We're, we're a mature, uh, what's I saying, mature audience. This show intended for a mature audience. Um, but we're a mature uh, player. We're, we've moved on. We've had the game for long enough now. We do not need to make the same mistakes that are all born from just rushing around like your head's on fire. Uh, I'm trying to analogize, analogize, analogize it. I'm trying to draw a parallel to... I don't know why I did that. Um, driving. Because, okay, I, I am an impatient person a lot of the time. That's fair. And I'm trying to work on my patience, which is, you know, easily paralleled by this game. Even, it, it, it's... Um, exemplified by this game right now, my, my lack of patience, because I will very quickly complain about the game. Nice. Uh, I, I'm perfectly happy to complain about the game doing me wrong without considering the fact that maybe I'm just wrong myself, right? That is the, the way I'm playing. But now we're playing patiently, you know? We're making sure that we have got the time and the space to move into where we're going. We're ignoring enemies that we don't need to uh, aggro. It's all of them, by the way. Not all of them. We've already had that discussion. I do stand by a lot of the things I've said in the past, which is stuff like, you know, not all enemies are going to be... Why have you got some damage? Yikes! Not all enemies are ignorable, especially in the later game. Come on then, I'll bite your legs off. 
but we don't have to go fast anymore. There's no time door after the one that we've already missed, you know? We we can look around and make sure that the things that are happening are not going to be the worst for us. Oh, a secret. Yes, pick it up. What? <laughs> In no universe do I want you to leave that behind. Okay, so we can look around us. We can look down before we smash, although I have been there before, so I did know. But my, what I was saying was, I didn't mean to do, do that. Um, I'm not generally patient. I should be patient, but I'm not patient. So, I don't have the uh, attention span to deal with places like this, for example, which is just a big chimney that I'm going to climb down. I'm going to climb down this chimney and uh, you know, get some benefits from using the, the, the playing the game properly, you know? That's the whole point. Like, see how I didn't smash my way down that huge chimney instead of going slowly down the uh, corridor next to it? I mean, they're both chimneys, but one of them had... One of them had ways out. Nice. These biters are going to help as well. You know, we can we can pick our battles and make sure that we're not trapped between enemies that we can't control. And at the end of the game, when you inevitably lose to some nonsense situation that you have no control over, because the the game is just literally have to get you at this point. Controller disconnected. No. Try again. What is wrong with you? Hello? Wow. Hold on a minute. It may be new batteries time. Please keep batteries in here. <laughs> Energizer. There's only one battery in here. Where's my other battery? I know you're not supposed to put a working battery and a broken battery together. So what am I going to do now? Where are all my batteries? I'm going to stitch two recordings together. I'll be right back. In fact, no, I'm not. I'm just going to cut this out.
Alrighty then, back in the game. Thank you for watching. Uh, we, um, all my batteries are rechargeable. But that doesn't mean that I, I have them charged. Whoa, managed. It's chief managed. How long can you stand here? Wow. You are a much better unit than that. I kind of prefer the, uh, the thing we have to the barnacle there. Ooh. Infantry grenades. I do like firebrands. I have to be honest. But I think we've kitted ourselves out with the, um, with the shield. And I'm going to stick with it because to some extent I kind of hope that I die <laughs> before... Uh, I need to go to bed, and at uh, the same time, also, I really need to, like, retract this attitude of we're just going to play it the one way that works. I do kind of stand by the idea that maybe if they wanted me to play it, like, I stand by the idea that I should be able to play it melee, you know, uh, the, the red route, and still be able to win. Well, there's nothing, I kind of hoping to find a few more enemies, to be honest with you. There's a chest I've not opened. Um, I guess to some extent that's probably true, but it's harder because it's more OP. Does that make sense? Like the balance is against it because it itself is balanced um, in favour of winning. So uh, later on, I suppose you could probably argue that using melee is harder, using brutality is more difficult because the enemies are longer range and things like that. Um, just because otherwise that would be the obvious path. But now it seems to be the non-obvious path. It seems like you're, it's not actually balanced. It's too far in the wrong direction. That I, I will stand by. You know, I kind of think that is true to some extent. Uh, provided that people are correct that playing with shields is uh, a greatly way to go. No! Oh, I'm so mad at how long that took to explode. That was ever... Oh. Again, I, I I really, really want to blame the game, but there's nothing... Like, the game's mechanics have always been there, you know? I'm just here running around it. Well, it's not for me to complain about that the game is doing it that way. But at the same time, I only came here to do that. And, like, it seems like I've managed to find the one attack that can't be shielded whilst trying to use the shield run. It's almost like later in the game, finding the one attack that you can't stab in the back with a sword when you're using your backstabby sword run. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not good. So. It's not worth uh, trying now, anyway. So let's go to the ramparts because we are, remember, trying to practice with the shield. I guess my previous point was basically if you want to run through the game and hacking and slashing everything because you're bad at shield, there is a time door there, actually. Then you should be able to. Um. without being punished at the end of it for having a particular playstyle is what I'm thinking. But, like, I, mean, I could go full on, um, full on green mutation so it could be pretty good. Provided I keep the shield or find a better one, which is the other thing. The shield's kind of pretty good, but is there a better one? You know, I haven't really liked any of the ones I've tried so far, except this one's pretty good as long as you get it right. Um, I think that... I guess the problem with the shield is that it is very much based on an external influence, which is to say, um, you, you don't have any control over the time... Yeah, exactly. You don't have any control over the timing of the uh, shots that you're trying to avoid. You have to know them. So you have to learn them. You, you basically have to learn the, the timing of all the enemies in order to know when to shield and then sort of apply that knowledge across enemies so that when you find an enemy that knows. what is happening there's one down there why when you find an enemy like a bunch of enemies with different timings on their attacks like just happened to me now you 
can still win, right? I didn't even know that was gonna kind of parry this. Yes. Even though it's magical and goes through literal walls, my shield is stronger than it. So there you go. That doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm happy. Yes, we've got a lot of red. Excuse me. Yeah, that one does telegraph it to some extent, but at the same time. <laughs> that, those two were in time and I got it wrong. Yeah, I'll admit to that. That's fine. I, I did it wrong. I got the timing wrong. Not that I've learned the timing or anything. Uh, no. But I, I, I don't want to play with the shield. I don't like it. Right? So... I feel unnecessarily punished for not liking shields. Provided it is true that shields are the best way of playing the game. Please. <laughs> I know you have a back. I just couldn't get to it. Like, what? You stopped. Your exclamation mark went away, which means you weren't going to attack. And then you attacked, considering that a bug. Like, what? Do you run away? You can't parry two things in a row, just like you can't roll out of the way of two things in a row. So do you, do you not? Do you stomp them like that so that they can't attack? I don't know. I guess all the questions I have with things like shields is what do you do if you miss? What do you do if you need it when you can't have it? If you come to rely on something like rolling or shielding, etc. What do you do if you can't roll or shield? Right? I mean, I've become heavily reliant on rolling. And I should be actually reliant on not bloody well being there in the first place. Being there in the first place. Again, there's another situation. Everything was attacking me at once. I couldn't shield from both directions and I couldn't roll because then I would roll into the arrow. I do not understand what to do. And I'm really, I'm trying not to complain. What I'm trying to do is explain the things that I don't understand in order to figure out how to learn. I mean, I'm trying to basically recognize the help that I need in order to then receive it, but I guess I'm not receiving it. Right, so I just keep going on like a broken record. Which, uh, uh, by the way, a record is a, an ancient musical uh, recording device. Why is that happening? Uh, which uses the principle that sound is made of vibrations and vibrations can be mapped using uh, certain devices onto uh, a wax or vinyl disc, thus preserving the, the waveform of the sound in the first place in a more permanent medium. I, I tried to dodge, but you just didn't do anything. <laughs> Not dodge, the other one. I tried to parry that, and he... Somehow I... <laughs> I have to keep explaining the damage, but they're all just so inexplicable. Also, the shield is really not a damaging attack. The parry is not an attack, although it kind of is. So, I don't know whether to use it as an attack or not. I'm guessing you could just use two shields. Can you use your second shield when your first shield is... Um... Like on cooldown, which... Uh, a cooldown that I don't really have a visual indication for, by the way, so... Kind of working on instinct on that as well. Basically, I'm trying to play this game on instincts I don't have. And I'm trying to build them up, but I, I can't figure them out. I don't know where they come from. Where do I get them from? I really appreciate that I can attack, like parry an attack and hit more than one thing with it when it's a ranged attack. That's actually quite nice. But... Yeah, it's okay, but like, that should just obliterate it, in my opinion. The the reward for successfully parrying is negligible when I could just successfully dodge instead. Does that make sense? I don't understand shields. Apart from when you start buffing them to the extent that they, like, heal you or, or do it. Like, the mutations might be the only reason that shields are any good. But I don't know that, because... <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, uh, I hope my point comes across in that situation. Like I, I, if I parry something, 
it needs to be an offensive weapon, otherwise I'm going to be wandering through the game really, really slowly going, what the heck do I do with this? What the heck do I do with this? Whereas that, the reward for correctly dodging is that you're then behind the enemy and can completely own it. I don't know why. Oh, actually, this might be worth it. Oh, didn't expect that. I guess you can uh, parry then dodge at the same time. Kill the enemies nearby first. Very well. Just get out of the way. <laughs> Leave me alone. I mean, I should be trying to parry in this situation, right? Like that. Yeah, perfect. Except, I don't know how. This is great. This is exactly what I need. Uh, wait. Okay, good. I, was, <laughs> I can't even sell that because I've had it the entire game. Um, this is kind of perfect because it means I can start using uh, green a little bit more. Uh, which one do we parry? Did we parry them both? I don't understand. That's another thing I'm not quite sure of. Um, I can dodge past two things at once. I really... Well, I'm not very good at it necessarily, but I, I get the idea of... Dodge rolls, <laughs> yeah? It's a very simple game mechanic. Oh, what I don't get the idea of is parrying, because I don't know whether you can parry two things at once. I want to go over here and kill these ones, because they seem a little bit easier than anything else I could possibly parry. Right, so that parry there was probably not enough to parry the second thing that started attacking me, but uh, they attacked me far enough apart that it wasn't a problem. In future... What if they start attacking at basically exactly the same time? This is a problem because you are not going to let me <laughs> hit either of you with the shot. Let me out. This is an amazing weapon, by the way. Um, so I feel vindicated in in my preference right now, but of course we're trying to. First of all, not get into these fracas in the first place. To require... Um, rescue or to dodge a ludicrous number of attacks that I just am not capable of dodging. Um, yeah, might as well be green. Because green and red are the only two uh, attacks of any value right now. Cool. I don't think you get the crit on the other thing that you didn't hit in the back. That makes sense. I mean, no! I am furious <laughs> at that. Like, how... It's, it's hubris. It's got to be my own hubris. Like, come on. What happened? I tried to stomp the thing so it couldn't attack me. You've got plenty of time when you stand next to these archers. What are you trying? Stop doing it. Order of the King. I want uh, goodies. I'm glad he's running fast because it's how I feel. <laughs> Charging headlong into the melee right now. I seven. Seven kills. To be fair, we did manage to find, by accident, a really good weapon that kind of trumps anything that we could get. It doesn't necessarily trump it, but it's, uh, at least like removes the requirement. Why didn't you roll past that, by the way? Another question I have. Like, I was trying to get behind that birdie, and he just sort of rolled in place. <laughs> Wasn't really the goal I had in mind. So many questions. You just answer them. Black Bridge. It's Woe Black Bridge, Ramalan. I... I'm just going to leave. Let's see how we do... Oh, my voice. Where's my voice? Well, let's see how we do against the concierge. Um, with a shield. How do you feel about that, hmm? I wonder how long the counter-attack is available. Give me a cycle, why? <laughs> that seems weird. Traps damage are capped at 10% if you're back HP. Also why? I don't understand these. Removing a curse requires a tell. 5 HP. Just fill this one up. One cell left. Get in that grenade there. Sure. 
I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm in uncharted territory. I've got a weapon that can carry me through the entire game if I use it correctly. And a shield that I am almost certain I'm not going to use correctly. Uh, to carry me the rest of the way. But I don't know if I can parry any of the shots that the concierge has for me. I'm assuming I can't parry the ground stomp thingy because I can't dodge it. So we're going to just have to rely on backstabs and explosions right now, which is kind of fine, I guess. Because that's a really powerful weapon I've got going on there. Let me out. Doesn't seem fair. I say that a lot. <laughs> I understand, I recognize. Um, but I would like to be over here, thank you. Let me out, let me out. Right, can't dodge that, don't forget. It's funny, very difficult to get behind you. Um, I can't get behind you on this. I'm sorry. I, I think I just need to be a little bit less... Uh, Eager to do so, to be honest. And then you're gonna jump? Not gonna jump. It's a very good attack just now. Uh, step away. But see, I don't want to be on the wrong side of it when it decides to do yeah that. And jump? Nope. Not in jumping stage yet. This is fine. Just jump these. Yeah. Good job. I want to be behind you, but it's difficult. No worry. I mean, just keep it, keep it going. As long as you keep chucking these grenades, we can't really fail to do damage, and the cooldown on them is the same. Like zero. <laughs> you not take damage. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for getting through this stage without taking damage, but. I mean, if I'm not good enough, oh, if I'm not good enough at this game right now to get through this with this loadout without taking damage, then it's kind of no wonder that I can't kill the boss, right? The, the hand of the king. I'll be fine with a bow right now, and I do find myself constantly pressing the, uh, or at least going to press the the, the shield key. It's almost. How can I not take this over that? I think we've gone far enough with this shield. It is my first shield. <laughs> you know, I've upgraded my entire run now away from the shield, which I think did me fine, and I think I'm getting better at it. Bit of a drink now, I apologize for going silent, but I'm quite thirsty. Yeah, so that's the door for getting through that without taking damage, which is essentially kill all the enemies without taking damage. We might as well use this, because we don't often get an opportunity to see that Joker. Uh, I'm just going to walk past you. I don't feel like doing the slumbering sanctuary, but maybe I do. What's the alternative? Stilt village, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do the stilts. So I think I've upgraded correctly. I don't want to stick to my guns on the shield thing just because I'm trying to do the shield thing, you know? I, I think I should have a little bit of um, control over whether I'm at least allowed to... to Stop the <laughs> stop the madness because basically it would be foolish to turn aside a better weapon in all ways just because we're trying to do a thing that has somewhat lost its luster. It's outstayed its welcome. The shield thing has outstayed its welcome. Yeah, yeah. Let me out though. Get out of here. <laughs> Hey, look, a situation I don't know how to deal with. This is easy. I can do that. Don't worry about that. I'm down with that. Is that uh, the captain with the cannonballs when he's on the same level as you? I'm, how do you... I'm pretty sure you can't roll past the cannonballs because they explode too readily. So then you're left with... Just die, I guess. I suppose the correct thing to do is wait for him to be in a position where you can... Do some alternative damage like that. And then get sorted out. Infantry bow 5. Versus... Not good enough. So we'll switch back. And the repeater crossbow does have a, a warm-up time on it that makes it a little bit more difficult to use. But 
for, for distance work, which is what I was really hoping for in the concierge fight. Not that I'm saying that I would have been able to complete the concierge fight without... Um, <laughs> is it gone? No, but I was invincible, so that's also good. Cool. Um, without taking damage if I had a, a, a weapon like that, I'm just saying that I would have had a better chance for sure. Nice, nice, nice. Yay, biters! I can be up here. The other thing I guess you can try and do is just be elsewhere. Give you for the key. And then stomp it. And it's going to ignore it. <laughs> you don't have to fight everything. We're in a, an enlightened age. We're having epiphanies left, right, and flipping center, mate. Nope, 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 nope. I'm really, really trying my best to get as many kills as I possibly can um, without taking damage. And obviously the way I'm going about doing that is to not fight things that I can't beat without taking damage. Like that. Like, do I want to face two of those and one of those? No. Let's pick our battles wisely. I'm, all, I'm mostly terrified about legging it forwards and then discovering that I have come across um, a flaming captain that has thrown a grenade at me and I can't dodge it because they're undodgeable OP weapons. You haven't got a shield, remember? So, have, have a care. Much better. I'm going to keep ramping up survival. Mostly because of all of our amazing um, skills. Oy! No! A little bit perturbed that that guy can do that. I think that's... This is the thing that bugs me the most. Suddenly, uh, I'm in a situation that I was not expecting. Um, things just appear from out of nowhere, which happens in other games, but... Mm, not to me. By gun. Not really making much use of this crossbow, I'll be the uh, first to admit that, but... It's a very quote, close quarters sort of uh, floor got going on here, so it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Biters versus biters, the rematch. I'm gonna kill everything. Um, these don't count probably, but they did manage to ruin my previous streak, so. <laughs> I'm trying to press the key, the button ever so slightly so that he jumps but doesn't jump in the spikes because knowing him he will be attracted to the spikes and go ooh look spikes I'm gonna play with those throat slip yeah cool letter must be her last words the Malays won't get us I'll protect you yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll protect you I'm getting it I'm getting it it's a uh, body stuff in it a woman who opted for the fast method she doesn't seem to be infected yes uh, nothing here just just law with an O so, in the spirit of not complaining, I was saying how patient I am, and I'm a very nice person. I am going to give myself a little bit of credit. I can be very, very patient. <laughs> um, but mostly it's out of stubborn-mindedness, or like a sense of self-preservation. I'm selfishly, I'm selfishly um, patient, okay? See, I'm not going to be able to do anything about this. Unless you just stop doing it now, okay? Um, I say I'm selfishly patient because I just do not have the energy to expend on being impatient about stuff. Um, I, for example, I'm a very patient driver. And the reason I'm a patient driver is that if I'm not a patient driver, I have to deal with the anxiety and stress of getting cross with people all the time when I'm driving. Instead, I would much prefer to put myself, sort of divorce myself from the situation. Excuse me. Yeah, watch out. Don't, don't trigger that elite by accident. Nice having two infantry grenades, actually. Um, take yourself out at the moment. Just let things pass when driving. That is my most sagest of advice. Um, People are going to be impatient drivers at you. Well, oh, what? I threw the grenade at it, but it went straight over the top. I thought I had that in the bag. 
Oh, I'm so upset. Um, people are going to be impatient at you whilst driving, you know. And, okay, to, to a great degree, don't uh, elicit, don't incite the impatience of others. Don't be slow as all heck and dull and boring type of driver. But at the same time, let other people be that, you know. Some people are impatient, and that's going to happen. You don't have to be them. So, instead, let the uh, the impatient people be so. But don't, so. Don't join in, I guess. It's easy to not be impatient when driving, and I found this. And the other thing is, you might be laughing going, Haha, I know you're driving. You are not a patient driver. I am a patient driver on the outside, which is where it counts. You, know? you can, as much as you care to, um... Yell and swear and say, oh, I rolled through it. You can. Stop. Just leave me alone. See, the whole game just turns around in one moment of unexpected. -ness. And it's all ruined forever and no one can have a happy Christmas. Which is what you wanted, isn't it, Scrooge? Probably should have thrown a grenade. A lot of uh, shots in this crossbow. <laughs> Very pleased with that. Um, yeah, rant and rave at them on the inside. In your car, shout at them, swear at them, I don't care. They don't care, they can't hear you. But also, don't use your vehicle to, to get up in their grill. It's not worth it, you know? Just stand back. I always find that if you get into a situation when driving, you've made it worse by being in this situation. Ah. Oh. Squash. Um, like, I guess another thing to say is pay attention. If something is unfolding up ahead, don't get in. Don't be there. Go away. Leave it alone. Should we reforge something? I keep forgetting we can do that. And we've got a lot of money. I'm running past this joker. Like, I don't care. I do like my bike. Actually, I like all these. Shots pierce all enemies. That's very good. 15% damage for hits in the back, which is what we're doing. 100% damage to a poison target. I'll reforge this. No. More biters. Perfect. Cool. Plus 20% damage as well. Without 20% uh, damage to me compromised. So that's fine. Just stay out of the way. And I know I should probably be applying that very principle to this. Look ahead and see what's coming up. And just don't get in. Do not get involved. It's not worth it. Ooh. I haven't been here for a long time. 13 seconds, but including a cooldown reduction thingamajig. I just realised I should reforge my... I need to change my um, tactics because I don't have a shield anymore. Not my tactics, my, my mutations. One of the... One of the things I was saying about, in fact, m many times over, is the propensity for the game to sort of force you down a path very early on because you can't change the uh, the decisions that you've made uh, about scrolls right but you can change the decisions that you've made about mutations so we've got really lucky because our scrolls um are our, our, our new weapons oops that wasn't very good Yikes. Our new weapons are colourless, which means it doesn't matter the scrolls that we've taken. Um. Oh, what are you doing now? Tell me. Blocked attacks inflict bleeding. Plus 75% damage. Oh, that, um, I'm going to leave that there in case I hate it, but... You know, I... That seems like what I expect a shield to do. <laughs> Look how much damage we did to things that weren't even involved. Right, I, I still have to learn a lot of these attacks just because. I, I didn't press the right button. That was my mistake. Oh, I got that one. You do have a certain um, grace period when parrying, I've noticed, so we should make use of that as much as possible. 
because um, it allowed me to parry the one attack and then the other one that came in just a little bit later was still being parried. Which is great, but uh, if they're any further apart than that, you're going to be stuck in that little position that I'm always whinging about. I mean, that's that's fine. I'm still getting used to it. But I think we can probably improve our lot just by being better at the game. <laughs> you know, practicing with things that are out of our comfort zone. And as I was saying about the uh, shield mutations, it kind of doesn't matter anymore, you know? And of course... Because we have a shield mutation, we're actually making back a lot of the HP that we lose. Even more so now. You did that while stunned, which I think is just quite not on, to be honest. Then you have a sense of sportsmanship. I mean, it did reflect it back. And it poisoned it. Ah, this is inflicting bleed because of my area of effect bleed, which is really, really good. I enjoy that. Nice. That was bad. But we're practicing, okay? No, none of that. <laughs> um, we're practicing, we're practicing well, and we're getting it good. We're getting it done. We're sorting this out. It's fine. Like that. Ooh, hello. Hokuto's bow. Interesting. Um, I'm doing my best, honestly. I'm increasing brutality because we're making great use of these grenades all the time. Um, I don't expect it to improve my weaponry, but it's certainly... Uh, my, my literal weaponry, I guess. <clears throat> my attack weaponry rather than... Oh, even that. Guys! That was not a good place to spawn me, if you don't very much mind. I managed to get through that without taking too much damage. I, I do appreciate that I've now got the... Um, uh, the, 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 the... First of all, the biters, but the... Um, the sh shield... Healing, the healing on the shield. I think that hit me, actually, which is not really what I was after. Do I want to go up here? Probably, maybe. Well, definitely maybe. Probably, yes. No! I saw that one coming. You see, I couldn't... Is there a thing that just stops you rolling off the edge into spikes? Or is that what the spikes are there for? To get people like me. I'm going to add 50% HP because I haven't done that yet. Nice. There you go. See, I, I can avoid... I can get that wrong by quite a distance and it's okay. Come on then. Like, a uh, time gap, I guess I should say, rather than a literal distance. Hello? But it does involve slowing down the game, which I am getting more and more okay with, to be honest with you. Um, uh, I find it very satisfying where you can hack and slash your way through a game, and I keep likening it to things like Sonic. These are just not as good. <laughs> um... Enough of the price, anyway. but it's not. There's a, a pace of the game that you can sort of detract from by trying to go too fast. Um, and there's there's more of a finesse to it than Sonic is the other I guess we were point I'm making. I guess we're going a long way down. But that's okay. Uh, anything I want to teleport to? Have I unlocked that teleporter yet? Yes, <laughs> only just though. Whew. But I think we're doing okay. We haven't needed to use a... Um, we haven't needed to use a what I call heal. But that is largely because, not that I'm any good at the game, but the fact that I happen to have chosen a path that heals me for me. And uh, somehow I've managed to hit upon a supreme weapon that is uh, robust in its effectiveness say that. Plus, the shield that I found, I actually preferring over the repeater crossbow, which I really wasn't using at all. We get some more of these uh, parries going on, we're going to get even more HP back, which is going to be how we beat the game eventually, once we get any good at it, uh, in future, because in later runs, we're not going to have a refillable um, flask. 
is going to be forcibly unavailable to us. I'm uh, guessing this is the where the boss is, but we haven't got the boss key yet. This is an absurd tower. You don't mind me saying so. Didn't expect that. So I didn't deal with it. It's okay. I'm not expecting to get through this floor without getting hit a million times uh, um, before I've killed a buttload of enemies. Uh, I was expecting to do that maybe on a very much earlier floor, but not this one. Yikes. That was lucky because the spikes are around. Come on, then. Bite your legs off. Getting, getting used to just stopping and waiting. I think that's the important part here. I don't have to... Um, I don't have to be there for everything all the time. You know, I can I can chill out and wait for the baddies to come to me. Should I just wait for that one, for example? There's no need to get up in there. That uh, just went wrong, <laughs> quite honestly. There's no need for me to get up in there and, 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 and fight that dude on my terms. Or on his terms, I guess I should say. You know, I, I could easily have just let the poison deal with it. I elected not to for some reason. Nice. Everything happened at the same time. Oh! I, I genuinely didn't see that. My, that was my mistake. I'm not doing this because I will die. Uh, but in future, maybe that is a consideration we will consider. Um, there's uh, another... Excuse me. How do I get to this tower? <laughs> Which I can see. But there doesn't appear to be a way into it. Hmm? 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 Have a look. I think we just go here. Yes? Oh, I can see it. I can see it. Ah, that's the wrong one. Please go over there. Yes. This happened to me that one time. I don't even remember that episode. Um, <laughs> I spent ages ringing all the bells trying to unlock a thing, not realizing that it was an optional thing to unlock. Instead of discovering that there was a, a platform in the middle that I hadn't walked down. That was incorrect, but also worked out. Run. Nice. Uh, I, I, that was just timing, honestly. I'm getting used to the fact that it is just my timing. But uh, I'm going for HP here, by the way. Avoid the elite, because I will die. Avoid the elite. <laughs> Bollocks. Except I won't die because I am better than it. Nice! Did you see that? What is this? No. <laughs> this shield is amazing, actually. I never thought I'd say this thing. But this is a actually good shield right now. Everything has gone wrong. All at once. <laughs> it will not let me. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm really trying, but lots of things are going wrong all at once right now. Mostly involving the fact that I have to uh, block things that I can't block. Nice. I parried the thing on the ground, which is something I knew you could do, but uh, it hadn't occurred to me to... It, it's not a default reaction to seeing that thing, you know? Clock Master's key. This is the bell key, right? Yeah, so... There's another tower somewhere with the Clock Master's key in it. Do we see it? No. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see a place I've not been yet, I think. It's up here, past the shop. I didn't go past the shop, I didn't realise. I'm saying. Uh, I think, yeah, my new attitude is working. First of all, the attitude of let's make shields work for us, but also the attitude of slow the heck down. It's not worth it. Fortunately, they're a little bit can be a bit too easy. Too big. Swords too big. Swords. More swords. Wow, sword. I really don't like this place. I'll just open that. That sensation again. Like, I'm floating. As if everything was speeding up and slowing down at the same time. Ugh. What? Sort of makes you feel like puking, huh? Uh, yeah. Ah, finally something interesting. A golden amulet. That is finally something interesting. 
Uh, damage is used from projectiles. That's very good. I'm okay with that. Couldn't care less about the bomb. But we are getting damage from some projectiles. We have successfully survived this far. I truly believe simply because this is a good shield and I have picked good mutations to go with it. Let's take damage. Um, okay. Oh, what a, what a, what a dodge. He's got that one. I actually finally got that right. And we can leave with a new blueprint, which is a thing that I am happy with right now. Let's do that. And I don't even know if we're going to be able to... Um, uh, 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 beat the Clockmaster, but I, uh, my reactions aren't quite good enough with the shield. Plus, I'm not quite sure... I feel like there should be a way of just knowing the time between an exclamation mark and the button. And it should be the same each time. Marks the enemy, who then takes... Extra deeps. The enemy dies and mark spreads. It's interesting. I don't want to buy anything right now. Not even that. Maybe that. First of all, it's a green as well as red, so we're going to get the bonus from it. Secondly, we do have two infantry grenades, which is not strictly necessary. Um... This one is just better, so I'll take this one. Oh, obviously, that's a five and a two. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course it's better. We've got some things left. That's okay. Uh, we will put them in. Let's start with this bow. This seems like a very tactical way. I like the, the tactics slash... Um, slash... Survive... Uh, sort of brutality thing on there. Yes. Yes. Just a bleeding shield. Yes, so we've got bleeding and freezing. Bleeding. Freezing. Great, so we've got a uh, really good synergy going on. We just have to make sure that we do our best to parry when we can. I'm going to guess we can't parry the daggers that fall from the ceiling, but I'm going to assume that we can parry the... Um, the... When he, when, he, when he tries to grab us, you know? And honestly, just slow down. You don't have to hit him every single time he goes past you. Nice. Didn't get that right at all. Yes. Wrong timing. That seems a bit rude, but that's okay. Ow. Nice. Stop. I wish he would slow down a little bit more when this happens, but that's okay. I think we're doing quite well. We do have a couple of heals left. Jump. Heal. Just use it. It's fine. You don't need to be precious about it. Okay, okay. I've gone very quiet because it's very hard. <laughs> nice, got him. Can't really get the um, parries to work for me, unfortunately. I, I, I think the trouble I'm having trying to parry here is that it's, um, it seems like a cute play, but not a clever one. It's not really helping me. Also, his noise is really annoying. Please, heal. Use it! Oh my god, use it. Nice. I can't get behind him. That's a bit of a problem. Damn. Yes. Not quite good enough. Try to... I'm really trying. I promise you I'm trying. <laughs> so is this guy. Trying my patience. Nice. It slowed and I parried him, but... It's just... And the racket. There's so much noise in this screen right now. 
I can't get enough. Um, I think we might do it. We did. But only because I managed to parry enough times to get his. I was trying to say sensible things during that, but I, 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 I couldn't. I <laughs> still can't. Oh, my throat. Thank you for all of this stuff. Enough. <laughs> A crusher. I'm going to say no. It's really good, but no. Um, but it's a, I mean, it's... Let's have a look at the deeps. It's worse. <laughs> it's just worse. And we have Velocity. A new brief... We, we've made it really, really far. And I'm proud of this because we only dropped the shield concept briefly. And I probably should have sold the, um, the, the thingy from the previous one. Granted, the repeater crossbow. Who cares? I'm not using the money. Um, no cells left. That's fine. I've got velocity in there. It's all good. I don't think I want to change my mutations now. It's only it's a thousand, sure, but... I think the fact that we had all this damage done by successful parries was just paramount to that. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to repeat that sort of thing. If I'm not going to be able to use the flask very often. Because the... The franticness in that fight is just ludicrous. I, I can't play the game that fast. I am simply incapable of it. Uh, right now, anyway. I just... I, I don't have the... I don't have the capability, sort of... I don't know if it's as a person. Am I too old? Or... You know... What, right? But... Does that count as a reflective shot? Maybe. So I'm going slower. I'm letting these things attack me and then parrying them rather than trying to get in before they attack me, which is the point of a shield. <laughs> it's not like I'm trying to tell you how a shield works. I get it, but... Leave me alone. Um, I, I don't think I can fight that necessarily the way that I think I should be. So let's just wait for them to get to me. Uh, I, basically, I don't know how to fight the, um, the noisy dude here. I mean, sort of run past it and hope for the best. Right, you turn around on the third one. I'm going to start trying to just, like, get the patterns down. That's probably a sensible thing to do. So far, I've been really focusing on winning, but I've not been learning as a result of that. Yeah? Nice. Not nice. Good. Um, I've not been gaining any knowledge about how the game works. Like these, these enemies that are constantly up in my grill. Ow. I, again, here's a moment, by the way, where I'm trying to like notice, trying to pay attention to the things that are happening. I, I, I can't... I can't, right? I, uh, for some reason, I am incapable right now of, um... Yeah, I... Uh... It could be, I could be tired, right? Or I could just be bad at the game, but what I couldn't figure out in that fight, even though it was, it was a slow fight, and I get it, but for some reason, inside my head, I couldn't... For a start, whenever I rolled past one of these people, these, these two dudes, I wasn't in range of them that made it really difficult at the end of that fight and secondly i was trying to sort of focus on both of them at once and my head just could not manage it i forgot for ages that i had grenades right which might have made a complete difference to that fight because i would have had several goes on the infantry grenade uh, and then after all that um I, I was trying to use my shield on top of it all which is something that i think i've become much more proficient in now than i was before we started but at the same time like, I'd still rather have the boots and the crossbow here because this shield is bad. <laughs> uh, so, I think we made some progress there. Not just in the sense of 
learning, but in a sort of personal development way, where I stop complaining about everything all the time. I think I know what I did wrong. I think I know how to fix it. And I'm really glad that we got past the clockmaker. Essentially, we won that fight with a parry. So it means I'm doing something right, but the game is currently just too fast for me. I don't know what to do about it because my brain cannot keep up. So thank you for watching. I hope that you've kept up. I hope I remember to cut out that big bit in the middle where I had to go and get new batteries. And until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you.